A couple of California lawmakers say when it comes to toys, boys and girls shouldn't have to shop on separate aisles. Now there's a growing push for gender neutral toy departments. KK9 Orange County reporter Stacy Butler has more. James, he likes to play with, he likes to play with dolls and whatever, and it's not hurting anybody. So putting them together is not really going to make a difference. He loves, he loves to sing all the uh, princess, princess songs and everything. Let it go, that's his favorite song. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah. And I play Poco Loco song too from Coco. I'm Poco Loco with Coco. When it comes to music, you don't have to go to different aisles to shop. Now, two state lawmakers are wondering why toys should be any different. They're pushing an assembly bill for gender neutral toy departments. If big box stores don't comply, they may face a $1,000 fine. There are girls who like to play boy things, and boys who like to play with girl things, and there's people that have, that people that are non binary who, you know, so why not combine it all? Let kids play with whatever they want to. And also just be easier to find everything if they're combined into one. But Chapman University law professor Marisa Chincharulo, who taught gender studies, says if passed, the bill would only further polarize voters. I think it's a very well-intentioned um, bill. I think there are more effective, more consensus building ways to achieve progressive values than this type of, of legislation that says we're just going to penalize um, anyone who doesn't agree with those values. Retail consulting expert Bert Flickinger says this is no time to create more regulations for struggling retailers. A hero and hazard pay should be the priority and uh, gender assortment uh, while well intentioned is, is an idea for next year uh, when we're out of the COVID-19 crisis. If the assembly bill passes, big box stores could face fines starting in January of 2024. Intervine Stacy Butler, KCAL 9 News.